rock hunting for the Minnesota State Gemstone. Well, as you can tell, we're out here doing a little agate hunting in the north woods of Minnesota. I'm actually up near Brainerd right now, coming home from Breezy Point. Had a wedding up there. And the fall colors are just immaculate right now, so I decided to pull off on an old dirt road. And I've been just driving around filming the fall colors, and uh, this road's got a lot of gravel on it, so I figured might as well look for some agates. I got some time to kill today. I'm in no hurry to get home, so I'm gonna just take a walk down the road here and uh, try to pick up a couple of gemstones. I I've only walked about 15 feet from the vehicle so far, and I got a couple little ones so far. This road is loaded with rock, so I'm gonna keep looking. As I said, we're out here in northern Minnesota. Just a absolutely beautiful day and we're just out on some backcountry roads doing a little rock hunting for the minnesota state gemstone i'm gonna walk in towards the sun kind of helps when the sun's shining through the rocks they glow a little bit and it's a little easier to look for them walking into the sun and i'm actually gonna go on this side of the road because there's more rock on this side as you can tell, there's way more rock up in here than there is over here. So let's just see what we can find here. Keep going. Deer trap there. Ah, this looks like some big buck country here. There's actually some pretty nice sized gravel in here, so I might be able to find some bangers. We'll see. Oh, look at this. A little snake. Is he dead? Oh, unless he got hit by a car. Poor little buddy. Get you off the road just in case you aren't dead. Just throw you. Oh baby, I didn't even see this. Look at this giant washout. This is where we're gonna find some doozies. There's a little one right there. Just a little piece of pea gravel. Man, we got some potential to find some awesome rocks here. running through the ditch. Uh-oh. I think we found our first banger. Oh yeah. That's a beauty. Woo! Luckily we got a little water right here. We can just get it wet. We don't even gotta lick that one. Oh baby. Look at that. What a beaut. That could make for a nice piece of jewelry. pretty quick because this rock's not too dense. Being that there's good daylight, good sunshine I mean, these agates just kind of pop out on this brown dirt so pretty easy to spot them. There's one. Just a little chunk. I want to take a second to thank Joey and Becky for having me a part of their wedding allowing me this opportunity to come up north and experience this beautiful weather and it's had a lot of fun so thank you guys 
Also want to give a shout out to my buddy Turner who told me that uh, he really enjoyed my YouTube videos and uh, after watching my egg and hunting tips and tricks video I made last spring he uh, felt compelled to take his kids out and go egg hunting so I just thought that was really neat and I really appreciate him telling me that because it gives me motivation now to make more videos and try to build on that and uh, that's really all I'm trying to do with my channel here and Hunterage TV is just kind of build content that I think people will really like and hopefully inspire others to do the same uh, even if they're not building a YouTube channel just go out and enjoy mother nature enjoy everything that this beautiful earth has to offer but I'm gonna turn around here pretty quick because I got my DSLR sitting on the car back there shooting the time lapse and I don't want to get too far away in case a local comes by and snags my camera Here's a classic fooler. Kind of looks like an agate, but it's not. But anyway, Turner, thank you for uh, giving me those positive words and feedback. Here's a nice one. Just a, just a shard of one, but it's an agate nonetheless. kind of some clouds setting in kind of diffusing my light kind of nice I guess everything is consistent there's no harsh shadows which sometimes when you have pure sunlight it can create a lot of hard shadows so a little bit of cloud cover is not a bad thing it could stand to get a little bit brighter out though none of these are really glowing Here we go, here's a beauty. This is what you like to find right here. You got one buried. Hopefully that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's see. Oh, not really. Not very big, but that is a banger. Woo, candy. Yeah, be careful not to eat that one. Oh, a couple more, look at this little tuber. One here and one here. Oh, and another little one right there. And another couple little ones. Man, found the Mecca. Not bad, they're not huge. They're just little jar fillers. Good size to put at the bottom of a fish tank. But big or small, I love them all. So, I made it down here to the intersection. I'm gonna turn back around and head back towards the car. You really can't go wrong anytime you spend a little time out in Mother Nature getting some fresh air, stretching the legs, and uh, finding gemstones. What a great day. Great day to be alive. Not bad so far just for a, uh, you know, what have I gone about? Ooh. Gone about what, 200 yards from the car down there? Got a fistful of candy. Can't complain. And I still got the walk back, so... Maybe we'll double up. I'd really like to find a nice big one, size of a quarter or more. This is not an agate. Look like one. But yeah, I tell you what, I'm part of a lot of agate hunting groups on Facebook, such as Lake Superior Agate Collectors, Lake Superior Agate Hunters, and I follow a couple other pages. And I, I see a lot of people comment on posts or pose a question to the group, where do you find agates? Where's a good spot to pick? Well, I'll tell you. Anywhere there's rock. That's the beautiful thing. In most of Wisconsin and Minnesota, from like Lake Superior down even into, into like Iowa and I think maybe even like parts of Nebraska, Lake Superior agates were dragged down during the ice age and spread across the land. I've had luck finding them all across the state. I typically focus on beaches, cornfields, places that have a lot of rock. Obviously gravel roads are a great way, great place to find agates. I literally have no idea even where I am, somewhere south of Brainerd. Took the road less traveled, got off the main highway and found myself a little dirt road. Decided, hey, what better, to, what better to do on a day like today than just pull over and get a little exercise. This side of the road's kind of a dud. There's not nearly as much rock. It's almost, I think, I think the county must put down some sort of 
oil or something to like keep the dust knocked down but it's basically like pavement out here god just a beautiful beautiful day yeah heading back to the car you want you want to trust that people in today's world have the best of intentions having left my camera just sitting on the car up here it's an easy target for someone to steal I've only seen two or three cars go by so far but you never know I'm not really willing to risk losing my $2,000 camera so I'm gonna get back to the car here and probably venture on keep heading down the road back towards home maybe find another gravel road to pull into just a few months ago I was actually shooting a time-lapse down by the river in Hastings and it's kind of a chilly chilly night and I decided to just set my camera up down along the river and I just sat up in the parking lot overlooking it and a couple of schmucks walking by with their dog saw my camera on the tripod off of the walking trail walked past it looked at it made it about 10 feet past the thing and the dude with the dog handed his leash over to his friend and turned around to like walk towards the camera like he was gonna steal it jumped out of the car and hollered at him what in the hell you thinking dude like I'm just gonna leave my camera there for someone to come steal freaking moron you know in today's world I guess you just can't trust that everyone's a good-hearted person and that's too bad oh there we go there's another dead snake or snake skin or something oh that's a snake yeah, he gone. He gone. I really should uh, make my way home quickly today so I can get out in the woods and try to kill a deer. A lot of deer have been dying this week. My buddy Colton shot a monster 10-pointer. And uh, a bunch of my friends are out hunting does for doe patrol. The venison's been piling up lately. And I could go for some. So I'm going to probably head back home, try to get home and get in the woods. See if I can't punch a tag myself please show your support if you like this video share it with someone else that you think might like it make sure you click on the subscribe button the more viewers and followers and and subscribers i get the better the future will be i'll start uh up in my production value i can upgrade my equipment ultimately just make better videos for you guys so again thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time